you know when you're feeding cattle it's it's about quality silage it's not about bulk uh, especially with, when you're trying to fatten them and reduce the meal you know and that that means cut it early it's an outside block and it's really for me it's more hassle to come over and graze it before i cut it and i want to get it get that early silage so really my strategy is to to uh, graze hard in the back end of the year so i graze it uh between the they come off it around from somewhere between the first and the 10th of november it starts out by knowing what precisely my P's and K's are. Uh, in fact, this spring I just did a uh, full analysis, got all my soil tests done. The first job is the story, and that goes out with the trade and shoe. Uh, try and get that out in February. Uh, that'll be topped up with uh, protected urea as well in another week or two. Uh, first week in April, thereabouts. I really ha focused on improving the uh, the quality of the slurry. So I put the digester in the slurry. Uh, that was the first thing I did. The other thing I was very conscious of making sure I know uh, water getting into the slurry tank to make sure that I, you know, I, I, I it wasn't diluted. And we uh, we, we also got to test it tested, and uh, the test results came back excellent. So it, you know, it's got super um, nitrates value in terms of NP and K. Uh, I'm not looking at what's on the field, I'm looking at the calendar, I'm looking at the weather and if the weather is good, I'm going. And it's, my target is all around, it was always around the 15th of May. The last two years, I think it was the 18th last year, the previous year was the 15th. So, I mean, ideally I'd, I'd even go a little bit earlier if I, if I could um, to get that high um, energy and protein silage. We know precisely the uh, the quality of our, our soil samples, so we know we know the uh, the P's and K's in all our fields. The second thing we do then is we test the quality of the slurry, and we know the the nutrition, the uh, nitrates value of our, of our slurry. And the third thing we do is we uh, when we the silage is made, we 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 test the silage, and so we know the quality of the silage that we have in the pit.